Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Just a little, tiny little bit of sunshine out there. Keeps going down earlier and earlier. I think we're going to have to just take some video from earlier on yeah. in the day. <laughs> but it was quite a beautiful day today for this Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at for tonight, tomorrow? Yeah, well, that same clear sky that brought us such really pretty weather today is going to lead to a very chilly night tonight for okay. all locations. Teens and 20s for the mountains with well, lows in the 30s and the valleys. A few 40s possible, but not very many of them. Taking a live look outside, looking toward the east, you can see just enough dusk and the distance that we have enough to see the terrain. Actually, a really pretty looking, it looks like a black and white photo, but the sunlight is uh, in short supply right now. But the temperatures, although warmer than average today, are also starting to cool down. 55 degrees right now. The wind's still a bit breezy. 10 miles an hour out of the northwest in Chico. Reading a little bit warmer. Currently 60 degrees. The wind north at 12 miles an hour. Red Bluff slightly cooler than that with a temperature of 59 degrees. The wind out of the north northwest at 7 miles an hour, but certainly not as windy as it was earlier in the day. And Oroville, really pretty evening for us right now. Currently 59 degrees, still breezy, north northwest at 10 miles an hour. But this morning, it was a lot chillier as we began our Thanksgiving day. Altura dropped down to 15 degrees. I mentioned earlier we had a lot of freezing fog around portions of Modoc County earlier today. Cleared out, but we're going to have a chance for it again tomorrow morning. It was 18 this morning in Bernie. It was 20 in Chester. Chico dropped down to 37, and it was 39 degrees in Redding. But you can see we recovered very nicely, although the sun is down the temperatures are dropping. We're still warmer than average in a lot of locations, mostly 30s, 40s, 50s, and just a few lower 60s that are currently hanging on. But hardly a cloud around the entire region today. Looking at our satellite and radar composite, no more of the rain and snow showers that we had about 24 to 30 hours ago. And it's going to be a while before we have another chance for any wet or snowy weather. Future cast revealing little to no cloud cover for the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to have a ridge of high pressure controlling our weather. The wind that we had the last couple days will be weakening late tonight through tomorrow. We're going to have to wait until late Sunday into Monday when another disturbance moves over Washington and Oregon, tries to trail across Northern California, bringing a slight chance for some light rain and snow showers. So higher terrain, but really nothing is going to fall for us, and the temperatures will be above average. Another disturbance tries to arrive about seven days from now. It just disappears as well. I got to show you Cliff's backyard in Red Bluff, a really nice place to spend some time. It's going to be chilly tomorrow morning, but really nice in the afternoon for Tehama County. How about lower 60s for the day after Thanksgiving? It could be a lot colder, could be a lot windier, snowier, and rainier than that. Here's your forecast for everybody on Friday. Looking chilly in the morning and mild in the afternoon for the northern mountains with highs mainly in the 50s and lower 60s. For the plateau, the Cascades, and the Sierra will have cold lows tonight in the teens and lower 20s. Highs after that chilly start will be in the 40s and lower 50s. For the ridge tonight, we'll have lows in the 30s and 40s again. Daytime highs, though, are looking pretty good, mainly in the mid to upper 50s. For the valley tonight, also a chilly one with lows between 35 and 40 degrees. Highs a little bit warmer than today. Lower 60s from Redding southward to Corning and the Chico area between 35 and 40. Also tonight for overnight lows. Highs really nice on your Friday with weaker winds. So it's going to feel warmer too. We'll be in the lower 60s for your Friday. The next seven days in Chico looking pretty good. We'll have increasing clouds late Sunday into Monday with some breezes, but no good chances for any wet weather. Highs in the lower 60s both in Chico and in Redding. As you can see, we'll have a a lot more chilly overnight lows, especially Saturday and Sunday morning, dropping down to the freezing mark, but warming up a little bit in the morning by early next week. Thanks, Jason. Looks about right for this time of year.